it took me 40 years to realize there might be something very, very wrong with my mentor. All I knew was that she worshipped me. Turns out she was grooming me. News coverage of my third art show in 1979. They spelled her name wrong, but Deborah Perlman is all my mother or I talked about in regards to my art. All I knew was that she absolutely adored me and she encouraged me and she was an artist, so I became an artist and absolutely showered me with love and affection until I turned seven. She tried to get me alone for a week in Chicago, but my mother and grandmother came along for the ride and she was aloof and distant and weird and uh, then ignored me for the next 20 years. We reconnected when I lived with her for two months in 1997 and saw her seven-year-old son wetting the bed and her responding by screaming and yelling like a lunatic. Like she was hiding something. By the time I was nine, she'd cut off all communication. Here at my last art show, I was selling rocks. And only now, looking at her art, do I see it. In the 40 years since she abandoned me, all she's done is take photographs of seven-year-olds. And I've been a filmmaker, a painter, a writer, a poet, a sculptor. And every painting I've done is with her voice guiding me, trying to impress her, thinking maybe if the art's good enough, she'll stop hating me. But then I realized she hates me because I know her secret. For so many years, I thought the reason that she was gaslighting me and blacklisting me from the family was because my art was better than hers. But I don't think that's it. I mean, it is, but I don't think that's it. I think my mentor is a pedophile.